Hey fragrance lovers and enthusiasts, welcome back. It's Benjamin here at the Centaur Fragrance Shell showcasing another beautiful fragrance for you guys. So thank you so much for popping in. Thank you for spending your time with me. And today we're going to be talking about Pure Excess Night from the house of Paco Rabanne here today. This is what we got on our hands. And before I even jump into the review, uh, the details, if you uh, are asking, is this long lasting? Yes. Is this mass appealing? Yes. Is it, uh, is it uh, a pretty good value for the money? Yes. It will get a little bit cheaper. We'll talk about that later in the review. But if you're a younger, you know, maybe a trendy guy, or maybe you just like playful fragrances, this is really, really nice, and I respect that, and I actually really dig this stuff. It's a great one, and a great designer release, one of the best modern releases, in my opinion, for in the last couple of years. The notes in this fragrance are none other than ginger, myrrh, and uh, some kind of like Tonka type vibes, to me at least. That's mostly what you're getting out of this fragrance. The ginger here is not overtly spicy, but it adds a really nice interesting twang it has a lot of energy it adds a lot of uh, sensuality to the fragrance and it's blended very well a uh, ginger can come off as spicy but i do have to say it just adds a energy to me out of this fragrance um you know they say it's like comes off as almost a duality of hot and cold and i can see why that comes from there's myrrh in this fragrance and myrrh is often a cooling calming type of note and the, that it adds a certain like richness and almost like a smooth elegant kind of quality about it with the myrrh so not only is this fragrance very confident because of the myrrh and cooling, it has this energetic ginger kind of quality about it as well. Now, there is vanilla, and that's listed as a note. I don't get a lot of a vanilla that you might expect, like a cloudy or an airy or even a dry vanilla. I do get the sweetness. But to me, it's in the background, really rounding out the fragrance and really smoothing it out a little bit of a lot of these jagged notes and uh, really trying to make the myrrh and the ginger play nice together. Uh, but but really, there's only three listed notes. It doesn't seem too complex. Again, I do get a darker Tonka-like vibe in the background of this fragrance. And this fragrance still retains some of that Coca-Cola, Pepsi uh, kind of vibe uh, with this fragrance, like a, a vanilla Coke almost. And um, that some people you know, think... That Think that that's just an odd, an odd thing. Why would you want to smell like vanilla Coke? But until you wear it and until until you see how other people react to it, you might not understand or be able to, I don't know, grasp um, how good this fragrance is. And it's called a seductive fragrance. I was talking to a friend uh, in Brazil, and he also said that this is a fragrance. You know, the this uh, line, especially this fragrance in in Brazil, is known as a you know catch somebody, sweep them off their feet, a seducer type of fragrance. So this is a fragrance that definitely will get you noticed in the party scene. That's what Paul Carabon's all about now. They've had huge success with the One Million line. And I kind of like that Paul Carabon has found their little bit of a niche, long-lasting, sweet fragrances that are great for uh, people who are really, you know, you know, trendy and playful and perhaps, you know, maybe the younger people. But also, again, the playful people who like the sweet, playful fragrances will really enjoy these. You know, they're not for everybody. I've heard some people say that they think that Paul Bond fragrances are very synthetic and uh, they don't like the quality and the compositions. I understand they're not the most artistic. They might, they, there's not a lot of naturals perhaps in these, but there is a good quality and I think there is a good blend here. And also, you know, not every fragrance has to be artistic or creative. Sometimes you just want to go out on, a, on the town and know that you're smelling good and you're going to get great performance. So let's talk about that performance. This is a great performing fragrance, guys. There's no doubt about it. This is a 10, 12 hour plus fragrance. I actually sprayed this on my skin. I woke up the next morning and I actually, I couldn't smell it too much, but once I went outside in the heat, the fragrance almost had a second life. It started kicking off on my skin and it wasn't only a skin scent or coming off the skin a little bit. It actually was projecting pretty well. So this fragrance can get you upwards of 24 hours. And if you are sweating, if you are dancing, if you're in the party scene, this fragrance is really going to push out there and give you a lot of projection. I don't know if I would say it's beast mode but it's pretty much there and the sillage is also really strong so this is a long lasting strong performer and it's and this is the night version some people have actually said that they think this one's too sweet or too dense almost uh, this one really does beg to be only worn at night yes it's versatile enough to wear in all situations maybe not so good in the high summer heat uh, but this fragrance really does have a lot of sweetness so do take that into consideration maybe if you're deciding to wear this in the heat of the summer or a very hot kind of environment so 
a really potent fragrance, very highly concentrated, uh, you know, spray responsibly. I also, even though the presentation's not everything, uh, they did listen to the consumers. No longer do they have the cap that has a hinge that like flips over. It's a lot easier. I like it this way. I think it's a lot easier to spray and get to. And if you do, if you're not looking, the sprayer actually is pretty big. It's actually about uh, 1.5, like 50%, or even t almost two times as big as a normal sprayer. So each spray puts out a lot of juice. Uh, so some people might really like that. So be careful with the sprays. I think a spray of this one is probably going to be a, a little bit more than your average spray from your regular bottle. This is a pretty big sprayer. So anyways, outstanding fragrance performance-wise. A little but little goes a long way. And, uh, you know, five or six sprays is probably more than enough, uh, you know, to get noticed with this fragrance. Uh, compliment factor-wise, again, if you're a niche head or if you've experienced a lot of fragrances, it might not seem that unique. Um, it might not seem that complex, but, you know, fragrances that have a simple sweetness and maybe are a little bit more linear, I would say this one leans a little bit linear. I can see why pe what people would say that. It, um, those fragrances often get me the most compliments, and this is a big compliment getter. It gets you noticed, it performs a lot, and it also has a little bit of that dark, sweet, playful, seductive type of vibe to it. So it does have a little bit of a bad, a bad boy vibe going on in this fragrance, certainly at night out on the town. And again, although there's different notes to this fragrance, it's a completely different smell. Uh, you know, with the ginger and the spice and the sweetness, at times this fragrance, again, it's a different smell. I'm not saying it's the same, but it reminds me in how the fragrance is composed almost of Victor and Rolf's Spice Bomb. So people who like Spice Bomb, or maybe if you want something richer and sweeter, this also could be a great uh, choice for you. So my final thoughts with this fragrance, it, it, my, it is going to get a little bit cheaper. Uh, you know, right now, it's, you know, the time of this review, it's about $55. It will probably get closer to $45 or maybe $40 if you get a really good price on this fragrance. But even, you know, in the $45, $55 range, I think that this is a very good fragrance. This is a designer fragrance. But um, I do think that this is, you know, great, you know, for the money. I think that you're going to get a lot of wear, a lot of enjoyment out of this. This is a new trendy fragrance. Even though it doesn't, isn't a big departure, it is a flanker from the Pure Excess line. And it's not terribly, you know, might not come off as terribly unique. Not, a lot, not everybody has smelled the Pure Excess line. Not everybody is familiar with Paco Rabanne. And uh, this is still a fragrance that will help you stand out. There's not a lot of fragrances. Yes, there's some sweet Tonka fragrances, but there's not a lot that exactly smells like this in this dark, sweet, and especially with the energy and and the uh, almost like the passion, almost like an interesting zestiness that comes off with the ginger here. Um, it's a little bit more unique than you would think, especially to people who are outside of the fragrance community. Again, the average uh, person, uh, this actually does smell a little bit more unique than you would think it is. So great fragrance all the way around. Again, not terribly creative, not terribly natural, but it does what it needs to do. Performance, mass appealing, and likable. Y'all know that I always, I, you know, sometimes don't talk about these kinds of fragrances, but here's one for you. I do know about designer fragrances. I do like designer fragrances, and uh, this one, guys, is one of the best ones that's come out in the, in the, you know, in the recent future. So check check this one out. The prices are starting to get good on this one. You know, for the fall and the winter, you might just want to check this one out. I think the price will be right, and I think it'll be awesome for the fall and the winter this year. So check this one out. You know, Pure Excess Night by Paco Bon. Thank you for watching my review today. I hope that you learned something. I hope that this was a, a you know interesting and a valuable uh, you know review. If you like what you heard and like what you saw, why don't you help me out? You know, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, share the video, and tell a friend. So I'll see you next time, everybody. Have a beautiful one. It's be smelling good out there. And you guys in the party scene, you guys who have to have the eight hour plus fragrances, you guys who have to have the beast mode fragrances. Check this one out. I don't think it'll disappoint you. So I'll see you next time, everybody. Have a beautiful day. Wear what you love. Rock what you got. You know, find the fragrances that you truly love. And I'll see you next time, everybody. Peace out and bye.